my dear fitness friends. Today we have another 2021 summer vacation workout to do. This workout was written by our dear fitness friend Kristen Ritter, so if you like it, make sure you leave it with a thumbs up and you let her know in the comments section. This is a minimal equipment workout. So one set of dumbbells, one kettlebell, and you will get this entire workout finished. So I have a short four minute to lot up here warm up. Join me on the mat for that. Grab your equipment, grab some water, get a towel, and let's get this workout done. I'll see you there. All right, guys, I am ready to hit start on this Tabata pair of warm-up where you're doing a walkout um, push-up T-stand dip, and we are pairing that with a squat and a squat jump. So I'm going to hit start right away on our timer. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Just four minutes to get our mind and bodies warmed up and ready to do some work for us. So stand up tall at the top of your mat or back of your mat. Hinge forward. Get that nice stretch in your hamstrings. Walk it out. Let's get a push up and T stand and then dip. Walk it back. We'll get the other side. Then we come back out again. It feels so good to stretch out those hamstrings. I'm gonna get one more dip, even though it beat. <laughs> okay, we have a squat and a squat jump. Remember, this is your warm up. So. You do what feels right for you to get your body and mind set to sweat. <laughs> I always say body and mind because you want to make sure that you put aside anything that you are dealing with outside of this room, <laughs> outside of your workout space. Now is not the time to think or worry about that. Now is the time for you to get out of your head and into your body. Allow yourself to be in control of all of your movements, to control the negatives, to feel accomplished, to boss up for yourself. Nice job. Squat and squat jump. I love working out when I'm on vacation. It's just part of who I am, it's part of what I enjoy doing, so I don't leave that behind when I'm on vacation. Some people use vacation as a break for their mind and body, and that's awesome too. <laughs> I love working out when I'm on vacation because it sets my day, it sets my tone, it makes me a nicer person. <laughs> I feel ready to tackle anything and ready to have fun after my workouts. Forward fold. So this workout also, Kristen wrote, not only using minimal equipment, but if you have a partner that you'd like to work out with when you're on vacation. So like the next time I go on vacation with my mom or my sisters, they will do this workout with me. <laughs> squat and squat jump again. Actually, we're going on vacation next week with our family friends. And I know my, my girl, Kristen, her name is Kristen too. <laughs> Not that Kristen wrote this workout, another Kristen is going to do this workout with me. So put a smile on your face. Feel strong and happy and good that you gave yourself this time today. You're exactly where you need to be. Doing exactly what you need to do right now. Walk it out, push up, and dip. Walk it back. This workout is going to fly by, but leave you feeling like you can do it all. <laughs> like you can get it all done. Last 20 seconds in our warm up, squat and squat jump. Squat it out, squat jump. We're heading into this workout with a superset. We'll be decreasing our reps, going through the superset three times. Two and one. Okay, so we're counting it out using our dumbbell and our cowbell. Dumbbells, I'm going with 25s. Kettlebell for this whole entire workout, I'm going to go with my 40, okay? 
We're starting off with a double arm snatch. Four, eight reps. Decreasing the second round to six and decreasing the third round to four. Pairing that with kettlebell swings, going from 15, 12 to 10, okay? So let's get started. Double arm snatch for eight. Power that weight up. One. Two. I like to wrap to my shoulders to bring it down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Set it aside. You've got 15 swings. Hop away from that kettlebell to start it. Get it going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Set it down. Back to your snatches. You've got six reps. Power it up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Slow it down. You've got 12 swings. Let's get it going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Bring it down. Final round in this super set already. We have four double arm snatches. Tighten up that bun. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Set it aside. You have your swings for 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set it down. Okay, we have a hit pyramid coming at you. Two moves starting at 20 second interval, going up to 50, back down to 20. We have a burpee. Dumbbell clean and press, and an alternating single arm swing to catching the goblet squat or goblet hold to a reverse lunge. I'm gonna hit start right away on our timer. Let's talk a second while we're doing this time set about how good it feels to be moving our bodies. Burpee, clean and press. So full push up on top of your weights. Clean and press at the top. When I woke up today, I was in a mood, I was in a funk. I did not feel really great. I kind of forced myself to get to this spot, to get into this room. I forced it to happen. I just put one foot in front of the other and forced that movement. And guess what? I feel so much better. Hop away, so you want to swing, switch it, catch it, reverse lunge. I feel so much better that I'm here doing this, talking to you, smiling, improving my mood, improving my health, improving my mental state. Nice job. Set it down. You got a 40 second interval coming at you. Burpee, clean and press. Sometimes 
it takes that extra oomph. You may not feel like doing something, but when you stop thinking about it and you just do it, everything gets better. Let's quit putting things off. Let's quit getting too far into our head, into our negative thoughts. Let's not give any of that the time, the time of day <laughs> that it doesn't deserve. Our time is precious. I don't want to waste time being grumpy or feeling out of it. I want to be in it, and I want to be happy. 50 second interval. Sing by swing to switch, reverse lunge. I know you guys are with me. Yeah, you only see me smiling and happy and energetic here. Because that's what I do here. But I'm just like you. I'm just like everyone else. I have my moods. I have my downs. I have my feeling the empty mornings. But I always know that moving my body hits the reset button for me. And reset. I feel good. I feel strong. I feel accomplished. That's what we're after today. Three, two, and one. 50 second interval. Burpee clean and rest. It helps me slip, flip that switch to gratuity, right? Just when you think. You want to complain about something. When you can flip that switch and be grateful about something instead, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing right now. I'm grateful that I have this space, that I have this time, that I have you to motivate me to make me stronger, happier, happier. It can just be something simple like, I'm grateful that I have the internet so I can hit play on this workout, right? 40 second interval, we're going down. <laughs> Swing the switch. Be grateful that you can move your body that it can sweat, that you can replenish your body with good clean water. Get rid of that sweat, you didn't need it. Let it get on your mat, make a mess of it. Be grateful that you can get a deep breath of fresh clean air into your lungs and into your body. Nice job. 30 second interval for a deep clean and press. We're at the end of this pyramid. Let's go. choosing to work out. You should be. 20 second interval, let's go. Swing the switch, catch it, reverse lunge. You know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking, I'm grateful that I have my gloves on right now. Because my hands and everything are getting really sweaty already. I have to remember to pack my gloves for next week's vacation. <laughs> but not thinking about those lists right now, I'm gonna pop open this door. And we're gonna cruise right on to our next set. We have an eight minute single dumbbell, dumbbell, as many rounds as possible. So I'm gonna set a timer 
for eight minutes. It will beep every minute on the minute just to let you know where we're at. We're doing eight single arm snatches, six offset squats, four single arm cleans, and two single leg deadlifts and rows. So I'm gonna stay on one whole side and then get the other whole side. Just gonna go back and forth as many times as we can in eight minutes. So beginning with snatches, you've got eight. Here we go. Blink that sweat out of your eyes. One. Six squats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single arm cleans. One, two, three, four. Bring it down. Single leg deadlift with a row. You can go ahead and kickstand it if that feels good to you. One, two, switching sides. Wipe this one out of your eyes if you need to. Eight, single arm snatches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, bring it to your shoulder, six squats. Nice and low, one, two, three, four, five, six, four cleans, one, two, three, four. Break it down, single leg deadlift in a row. One, two, switch it over to the other side, eight snatches, it's working out that it's every minute on a minute, just by chance, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, four cleans. One, two, three, four. Single leg deadlift in a row. One. Switching sides. This is like a happy accident, but it's any minute on the minute. I really like it though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, four planes, one, two, three, four, single leg deadlift in a row, one, two, switching sides, I must have went faster that round. We had like seven seconds. Eight planes, let's go. Snatches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squats. One, two. Three, four, 
five, six, four chains, one, two, three, four, sing my dead left and row, one, two, switch it, other side, grab it, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rack it to your shoulder, six squats, one, two, three, four, five, six, four pins, one, two, three, four, sing like that, lifts and rows, one, two, nice work. We are on to our last full round, we've got two minutes left. Take a deep breath, you got eight snatches. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, four cleans, one, two, three, four, deadlifts and rows, one, two, switching it over, this will be your final round, final minute. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it to your shoulder. One, two, three, four, Five, six, four cleans. One, two, three, four. Deadlifts and rows. One, and two. Nice work. You have 10 seconds left. Take that breather. We're coming up on to a Broken man maker set. So Kristen originally wrote this 30 seconds on, 30 seconds on. I'm doing 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, we're starting with dumbbells, going through four moves. Then we're gonna switch to our kettlebell, go through it for four moves. The only change I also made is instead of only going through it twice, we're going through it four times total. <laughs> you get that rest, but you're paying for it. Okay, so I'm gonna hit starts. This is just over 10 minutes. We're doing push-ups. We're doing plank rows. We're doing hang cleans. And we're doing push presses. I know. I know you can do it. You got a 10 second countdown. Get on your dumbbells first. 30 seconds of push-ups. You get a full push-up because you can, because you deserve it. You're staying with these dumbbells for the first four intervals. After we do those push presses, we're gonna switch to our kettlebell. Well, we'll be doing the same moves, but slightly different because it's with our kettlebell. Less than 10, stay here. Three, two, and one. Take your 10 seconds. We have plank rows next. When we'll be doing it with our kettlebell, we'll be doing upright rows, okay? So alternating plank rows, 
no push-ups. We've done this trick in Man Maker before. <laughs> I've done it no rest before. And I know that I prefer it with the rest. I'd rather do more rounds with the rest. <laughs> and one. Okay. Next, you have hang cleans. So using your dumbbells, cleaning up to your shoulders, getting down underneath it for that squat. These are only 30 second intervals. Put a smile on your face. Power yourself underneath those weights. Power those weights up. When we're switching to our kettlebell, we have diamond push-ups on the kettlebell if that's accessible to you. Three, two, and one. I know. I know you're breathing heavy. I know it's hard. I know you're stronger and tougher than you think. So diamond push-ups. Nice steady pace. Breathe it in and out. If you have to come to the ground and to your knees, do it. Modify. Hit your limit. Upright rows. I know. That is, you are welcome for these 10 seconds. All the way down, all the way up. Nice and controlled. Mikey's out there with a Darth Vader mask on and his Batman jammies. <laughs> Hang cleans next. Four, three, two, and one. So, hang cleans and push presses. Finish off round two. Nice deep squats underneath that kettlebell. You don't have to fly through this. This is hip. But this is very intense, even at a slower pace. You get to go through this two more times. You've got plenty of work ahead. Five seconds. Two and one. All right, push presses. You can decide if you want to do offset push presses for 15 seconds and then switch, which is what I'm going to do. So clean it up. Push press for 15 seconds. Bring it down, switching sides. One more here. Bring it down. Switch it over. Get it up. I know it's hard. 
I am pouring sweat too. Three, two, one. You got plank rows.
All right, guys, I hope you are back with me and ready to finish off this workout. All we have left is a giant set where we'll be decreasing our reps for three rounds total, 12 reps, 10 reps, and eight reps. And then we have a Tabata finisher that is core focus. So let's get this done. We have 12 reps of a single arm row in a lunge. By the way, we're just using one single dumbbell for the rest of the set and our kettlebell for one move, okay? But you can obviously use your single dumbbell for all of it. All right, so get into a lunge position. 12 reps, single arm row, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Bring it down, switch it over. Nice deep lunge again, here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Set it down. We have a kettlebell deadlift squat, squat deadlift. So we're gonna do six deadlift squats and then six squat deadlifts. <laughs> so deadlift down, squat to stand for one. Two, three, four, five, six. Reverse it. One, two, three, four. Nice job. We have a single dumbbell clean and press to a windmill. Six per side. So clean it, press it, windmill. That's one. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Switch it over. One. Switch it over. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squat, deadlift, deadlift, squat, five of each. Start with that deadlift down, squat to stand. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse it for five. One, two, three, four, and five. Sit on clean and press to windmill. Five reps per arm. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Switch it over. Clean and press. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it down, side your push up, plank row. Only five per side. One, two, three, four, five. Switch it over to the other side. Five more. Four per side. 
and we'll finish off with the Tabata pair. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Switch it over to the other side. Last four. One. focus to bottom pair. We're doing a Russian twist weight drop off paired with a pullover to an overhead sit up. I'm going to hit start right away. We're going to bang this out. Leave feeling accomplished and strong, happier than you were when you started this workout, hopefully. I know I am. 10 second countdown is on. Start with that Russian twist weight drop off. All you're doing is picking that weight up, dropping it off, twisting around. So drop it off, twist, drop it off, twist. Nice job. This is where you go ahead and take a minute to reflect on all of the hard work that you did today. All of the stuff that you put into this workout, like straight out in front of you. Weight comes straight up overhead. Two hands holding it. Get your pull over. Stop right above your chest. Overhead sit up. Control that negative feel. That core control you as you roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice job. Russian twist, weight drop off. If you did this workout while you were on vacation, I am so proud of you. If you did this workout while you're at home, like me right now, I am so proud of you. I want you to be finished with this workout and look in the mirror and give yourself a compliment like you would give your best friend if they did this workout with you, which by the way, you can do. <laughs> and I plan on doing. <laughs> Compliment yourself. Be grateful for yourself and your time. Be grateful for your body that it sweat, that it felt good, that it feels strong. Go ahead and love on yourself. Love your body. Love your shape. Love your thoughts. It is good and healthy to do that. I think it was on actually Kristen Ritter's Instagram story. It was a question. If you were asked to list a name of people that you loved, how long would it take you to name yourself? This is what you're here for. You're here to fill your cup up, to fill up your mind and body with positive, good, healthy energy. If you needed to flip the switch like I did today, hopefully it worked. It sure did for me. If you're here because you want to change, you cannot hate yourself into change. That is not possible. You can love yourself into change. You can love your efforts, love your movements. If you're doing something to yourself that's not right, make that change. If you're staying up too late, go to bed earlier, make that change. Sometimes, just like what I did this morning, you just have to force it to happen. Force yourself to walk in that right direction and it will happen. Believe that you can do it and you will. Three, two, one, and guess what? I've talked this all the way through this four minutes that you're in your last 20 seconds of this workout. And I have to say, I feel completely and entirely worked, especially after that broken man maker set. Oh my goodness. I am so proud of us for getting through that, for getting through this whole workout together.
Three, two, and one. Set it down. Awesome, awesome job. Kristen, as always, I feel so great and so accomplished. Thank you so much for sharing your workouts with us. I love you guys so much. I will see you at the next workout.